Hi everybody, this is Scott Sharp with Fretboard Toolbox and today I want to show you how you can improvise with a Fretboard Toolbox Complete Mandolin Edition and we'll look at the key of G major and we'll look at what's called the G major pentatonic scale, the G major scale, and then, uh, and then a G blues scale. And then I've got this new um, 200 free jam tracks uh, page on my website that will be able to take some chord progressions and, and practice improvising with those, uh, with those scales and, and see what it sounds like. So well, let's take a look and let me show you how it works. Okay, for this lesson today, we're going to use my Complete Mandolin Interactive eBook. Um, and we're going to use the key of G major. And we're also going to go to the website, the Toolbox website. So if you click here, um, or if you, if you don't have a Toolbox and, and you want to have the pages for today, just click on Free Toolbox Pages on, on the uh, Fretboard Toolbox website and then scroll down and you can click the interactive mandolin edition and the interactive edition uh, just lets you click through uh, from key to key like I'll be doing today and the uh, and the regular ebook um, is just like the print edition so it's just non-interactive uh, but today we're using the interactive mandolin ebook and if you and if you click on this you'll get um, all the instructions for my toolbox plus the G major and G blues pages that we'll be using today and we'll also be using this uh, new 200 free jam tracks page on my site and we're going to go to the uh, G blues jam tracks so these are chord progressions shown in all of my toolboxes and uh, and the jam tracks pages is just me playing through all of these chord progressions uh, and then having them played at three different speeds so uh, to start out today we're looking at this G major uh, chord jam track and, and what we're going to do with that is we're going to uh, use the toolbox to play along with that G major chord and just listen to the difference between the G major scale and the G blues page so what we're looking at today with the G major and G blues pages the toolboxes have for all the different keys because uh, I wanted to be able to visualize these ideas for myself in every key um, to start out if we want to know the G major scale um, we will look at the notes in the one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven columns. So a G major uh, scale is played with the notes G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. And that one sharp is why sheet music will show the um, G major is always the key with one sharp. So G major scale is going to be all the white box notes, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. And then on my fretboard jig, you can see those G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp notes all over the fretboard. Today, to be able to compare these scales side by side, we're going to use, we're going to focus mainly on, on these notes right in here. So starting on the fifth fret, third string, um, and playing G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. And that looks like this on the mandolin. Uh, here's third string, uh, or third strings, and uh, fifth fret. Here's G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Now what we can do with that is if we go to the jam tracks page on the website and let's just play this G major jam track at medium speed here. And then I'm just going to play through that scale here. So here's G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. So that's pretty easy, and you can mix those up and... And that all sounds okay over a G major chord because that's all in the same key. So all of those notes sound good played over a G major chord. All those notes in white boxes because they're part of the G major scale. You may have also heard of G major pentatonic scales, and all the pentatonic scales are is instead of playing the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven notes, you're going to play one, two, three, five, six. So in in my toolboxes, the uh, pentatonic scales, uh, major pentatonic scales notes are the underlined notes. So G A B D E. So if we come back to that same position here, 
if I want to play the G major pentatonic here, I'll play G, A, B, D, E, G. And again, over a G major chord, it's going to sound fine because it's all in the key. And that looks like this. So that's, uh, that's uh, the G major and G uh, major pentatonic scales. And then there's also the, uh, the G blues scale. The G blues scale is going to be the, in the notes in white boxes here, and it's going to be uh, the notes in the one column. We're going to skip the two and hit the what's called the flat three. So B was my three note. B flat is my flat three note. So the blues is going to be G, B flat, C, the four note, D, the five note. And then we'll skip the six, we'll hit the flat seven, and skip the seven. So on the blues pages, the notes in white boxes are your blues scale. They're also called your minor pentatonic. So it's G, B flat, C, D, F. Now if we play that exact same, or let's, let's look at it first here. We got G, B flat, C, D, F, G. So if we play the... Uh, if we play that exact same jam track and uh, and then we start adding the blue scale to it, it'll immediately sound different. So here's G, B flat, C, D, F, G. So the uh, getting the playing the the blues scale gives a gives a whole different sound, and that sounds uh, that sounds okay, but kind of boring just when you play G major the whole time. So if we look at a track like G major, C major, D major, the crazy thing is that we can play any three of those scales with this, and we're going to get a little bit of different sound with each. The major and major pentatonic are going to sound uh, pretty similar, and then the uh, the blues scale um, is going to sound way different. So let's play this G C D one four five progression, and uh, and then on the toolbox we can see we can see it up here. Um, G major is my one chord, C major is my four, D major is my five. So first I'll play um, the G major scale. So G A B C D E F sharp. And I'll stick to these positions here just to make it easy to follow. And, uh, and now we'll hear what it's, that chord progression sounds like with the major scale played over it. So I'm just messing around with the order. So these, uh, those notes are all going to sound okay over the, uh, over the chord progression because G major, C major, D major is chords found in the key of G major. And, uh, and then I can do that same progression again, um, but if I want to do just the major pentatonic, I'll play that progression with the notes G, A, B, D, E. So just the major pentatonics, the underlying notes. We're going to play just a straight. This is just a 1 4 5 progression. Um, but now I'm going to play G A B D E G. So just the major pentatonic. And you, and you can see those notes all over the place. I'm just sticking in here so we can compare the scales uh, a little easier. So let's listen to that with the, with the major pentatonic played over it. Here's G A B D E G. So notice how that has kind of a, a sweet, uh, kind of country-like sound to it. If we want to play that exact same progression again, and if we put it over the blues scale, so we're going to come down now, 
and uh, and and I'm going to play just the blues notes out of here. So on the blues pages, remember it's the even numbered pages. I'm going to play um, G B flat C D F G, and we'll transform the whole sound of that of that song. Even though it's the exact same chord progression, same speed. When we play the blues scale against it. So you kind of get the idea there that, uh, that the blues scale gives it a totally different sound. So when I can compare my, my major scale notes, which remember were the, uh, on, the, on the major page, on the G major page, it was the notes in white boxes. When I can see those notes, I can see the major pentatonic notes, and then I can see the blues notes. What I'm going to notice is that the big difference in the major scales, uh, the, the two bluesy notes in here, remember G, C, and D were in both scales, major and minor pentatonic. Uh, the one, four, five notes in every key are always in both scales, but it's the flat three and flat seven notes that are giving you the cool sounds. And so that's really critical to know because like sliding from a flat three to a three note is one of the coolest sounds you can do um, in, in bluesy bluegrass music. And, uh, and I'll show you that real quick here. So it's this, it's this B flat and F note that's going to give me the bluesy kind of sound. So remember, that's, my, that's my, uh, my bluesy notes here, B flat and F. So now if I want to try a lick like with the major pentatonic, which is the underlying notes, but I'm going to add this B flat to B and just listen to that real quick. We won't even put a track on it. So here's G, A, B flat, B, D, E, G. And this F here is going to have a bluesy kind of sound, so I can play G, F, E, and then maybe like a B flat B to G. So I can start mixing notes from the blues scale and the major scales and, and get, uh, get some cool sounds that way too. All right, so that was uh, a way to see the, uh, the major scales, major pentatonic and blues scales together. And uh, I hope you saw something interesting there. And those same ideas with the white boxes on the major pages being the major scale and then the white boxes on the blues scales being um, the, uh, from the blues pages being on the, on the blues scales are used throughout my whole book. And, uh, and in the, uh, being able to see those in all the different keys makes a huge difference. And then I've got the same thing set up for a whole bunch of different instruments. So once you see how my books work on one instrument, you can do the same thing on all kinds of different instruments. So if you found something useful, please subscribe and uh, please check out the, uh, my webpage and the YouTube channel and, uh, and see if uh, it might help you see your music in a different way. Uh, thanks for taking a look.